So what, what, what's going on in the inside? Well, in the inside, there's a uh, rural democratic convention where all the uh, state's uh, Democrats are meeting. Uh, yeah, no fracking way! Yeah, down with the wig! <laughs> And so we're here to uh, let them know and let the governor know who chickened out in, in, in here today. Uh, he must have known we were coming, but we're here to let them know that uh, we don't want fracking in New York State and that we're not going to stand for fracking in New York State. Pure and simple. I live in Spencer, so unfortunately uh, we're right in the bullseye. Uh, All right, got, you know, if the governor truly does live the um, moratorium, we know the we're living going into. We're going to move. Pass it on. You know, I live in Tuga County, so I. Okay. We we're going to move. Pass we're it on. Be one of the first areas that's basically destroyed by this industry. So today we are delivering to Cuomo, it's already up on the Coalition to Protect New York website, which is www.coalitiontoprotectnewyork.org, a letter to Cuomo and all candidates this year. And we expect an answer from Cuomo, even though apparently he's too chicken to face us here. He didn't show up. Maybe we scared him off. But our message is clear and we want an answer from him. How can you support fracking when the overwhelming evidence is that it harms people and nature and it will destroy our state, our future, and everything we care about? We will not stand for it. No fracking way. No fracking way. No fracking way. If New York allows fracking for natural gas, the invasion will begin with seismic testing including the laying of miles and miles and miles of cable and recording machines throughout your mountains, farm fields, and communities, and along and across your roads, with eardrum splitting helicopters overhead for months, transporting supplies and hovering over your mountains and homes to read seismic images. If New York allows fracking, you will suffer intensely from the noise, dust, diesel pollution, traffic congestion, accidents and road damage caused by hundreds and hundreds of industry trucks, huge 18-wheelers, triaxles, and an army of white pickup trucks. On your roads every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for years, carrying fresh water, fracked water, sand, stones, all the excavating machines, well pipes and supplies necessary for digging the wells, and the downed trees stripped off the land by the industries for the industry's well pads and access roads. If New York allows fracking, you will see your forest land exploited, stripped of its trees to make way for the many well pads, water and gas pipelines, holding ponds and tanks, and access roads. Wildlife and plant territories and boundaries will be disrupted. Dead wildlife will increase on and along your roads. Hiking trails will be interrupted. Hunting areas made off limits. If New York allows fracking, you will suffer from spills of highly toxic brine slash frack water, both at well sites and from trucks traveling along your roads, both by accident and by intent. If New York allows fracking, you will see withdrawals of billions of gallons of fresh water from your waterways, fresh water that will be lost forever in the bowels of the earth. If New York allows fracking, you will see landlords out of greed, raising their rents up to triple what they had been causing severe hardships to your citizens, especially the poorer and the older. If New York allows fracking, you will be saddened by seeing families and friends split apart by the omnipresent greed, people hoping to become rich in this gold rush atmosphere. If New York allows fracking, you will worry constantly about your and your family's health, from potential pollution of your water to methane and diesel emissions to spills from websites holding ponds and trucks. If New York allows fracking, you will cry in the night from being awakened by the rumbling trucks and from your nightmares about this nightmare industry. If New York allows fracking and you value a tranquil lifestyle, loving relationships, a vital connection to the environment, and care for anything more than money in this world, 
you will be shocked, saddened, angered, and frustrated to see all this fractured by the Marcellus Shale gas hydraulic fracturing industry, predatory corporate capitalism at its absolute worst. Many have told me that it is useless to try to fight against this terrible industry, that it can't be stopped, that the money involved is so great that nothing can be done. Well, a long time ago, Ecuadorian poet Jose Olmedo wrote, quote, he who does not hope to win has already lost, end quote. And 17th century French essayist La Rochefoucauld said, quote, nothing is impossible. There are ways that lead to everything. And if we had sufficient will, we should always have sufficient means. It is often merely for an excuse that we say things are impossible. New Yorkers, work as hard as you can to stop the fracking industry from ruining your land and lives. And always be very proud of your striving against an industry associated with greed, pollution, death, the exploitation of the earth, and a parasitic relationship with nature. Always be very proud of having taken instead a firm stand in support of a living, loving, symbiotic connection of man with the natural world. Finger Lakes wineries oppose hydrofracking in the Finger Lakes. Here we all know, but other people don't, that the Finger Lakes region is renowned for its clean water, clean air, fertile soil, unspoiled be beauty, and world-class wines. The pristine conditions here are essential for the production of these high-quality wines. The presence of hydrofracking in the region would likely jeopardize the wine industry for the following reasons. First, it will poison billions of gallons of water from our lakes. There's currently no way to safely dispose of the billions of gallons of poison flow back and produce waters. And of course, the oil and gas industry is the only industry in the country that's exempt from the Clean Air Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act. They can frack with impunity and dispose of the water without consequences. Third, as soon as the fracking trucks start rolling, the visitors will go elsewhere. This will rapidly destroy, destroy our tourism-based industry. Thousands of permanent sustainable jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars of economic activities will cease. Every farm that is fracked will become an industrial zone. It is no longer able to produce food. Yet, over 90% of the landowners will see no royalties because most of the contracts say that the gas companies have to recoup their expenses first. And most of the wells do not produce enough gas to do that. The western U.S., where most of the food is grown in this country, is running out of water to grow crops. Within a generation, scientists agree, most of that food will have to be grown elsewhere. The Finger Lakes region will become once again the food shed for the Northeast. We cannot afford to lose another acre to any type of development. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The, land. the gas, the accident records of the gas companies in other areas previously fracked is not acceptable. On public television Monday night, the former head of the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection John Hanger stated that in 2011 alone, the most recent year, which is supposedly the, the safest year, there were over 1,100 serious incidents at fracked wells. Now there have only been about 2,000 wells fracked in the whole state. This is a terrible safety record. The unique geology of the Finger Lakes with its many cracks, fissures, and faults make it unsuitable for fracking. Most farms are multi-generational. Our family has been farming the same land for seven generations. Ooh, Don't let this be the last generation. Thank you. Mike Jack! Mike Jack! The Occupy on my recording! The Occupy on my recording! General Assembly! General Assembly! Endorses this action! Endorses this action! Renewable energy now! Renewable energy now! As a member of the new generation!
generation. As a member of the new generation. I would like to have a sky. I would like to have a sky. That is owned by all of us. That is owned by all of us. Not just Wall Street. Not, Not just Wall Street. Wall Street. Frack Wall Street. Frack Wall Street. Don't frack Main Street. Don't frack Main Street. We are. We are. The 99%. The 99%. Also. Also. also on May 1st. On May 1st. We are sponsoring. We are sponsoring. A student walkout. A student walkout. At Corning Community College. At Corning Community College. To protest student debt. To protest student debt. debt. We are here with you. We are here with you. We stand with you. We stand with you. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Fracking's got to go. Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. whoa. say swift water high volume horizontal hydrofracking i don't care how safe it is or how well they're capping the drilling 
the spilling it's filling the water with radium benzene cadmium arsenic barium copper formaldehyde lead and more yeah. the cuttings drilling mud blow back water Industrial waste. Halliburton, Chesapeake, Cabot, Slumberjay, and Schutz Synergy, Fortuna, Norse, and more. Yeah. We need natural resources on which we can depend. On sun, water, and wind. These sources of power can be our solution. Reduce the pollution. We have the technology to act responsibly, change the policy, improve the economy. Hydraulic fracturing, capturing the gas. Keep singing that. How long can it last? Keep going. The wind will blow. Water 